Hey guys, Antonio Rodriguez here, and here's the, 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 my, hopefully the last review of 2016. Hopefully, I can get this video as fast as possible. It's none other than Star Wars Rogue One. And I should say Rogue One, a Star Wars story, or Rogue One, who cares? Let's get to the review, and if you want to see my written review that I did as soon as I saw it, it's in the description below. Rogue One is uh, the prequel to A New Hope. Of course. Direct prequel, to be exact, because it takes place around a week or five days before the events of A New Hope, and and it ends before the New Hope, and uh, and it stars Felicity Jones as Jun Oso and Alan Tudyk, Dunning In, and uh, many others that I forgot to check their names. And and, and I got to stray stra off by saying that. This is uh, better than the two prequels that disappointed everyone. But I don't think it's better. Than, I, I I like three better than this, uh, but in film making, it's better. Yeah, I just want to get that out of the way. And also before the start with pros, Kevin Smith is not correct on the Empire Strikes Back uh, comparison. It's not better than Empire's. Almost as good as Empire, but not as great as Empire. It's dead. That is surpass it, and when I saw that tweet, I knew he overgeneralized it because he based it on the third act, which I will start right there. Third act is very well done. It made me ignore the first two acts that were quite choppy, but it never really bothered me personally. It has uh, one of the best direction in the third acts I've seen. It's definitely better than the Force Awakens' third act. Um. The acting is quite good, even though Force Whitaker is, uh, could have been worked on a lot better. And, and Save the Dream is, is very over the top because he's so over the top because I will not talk like that. And knowing the character from the Clone Wars, as soon as they say the name and he's from the Clone Wars, I, I went, oh, I remember him. As soon as I saw him again and having a few details, I thought the, the acting would have been better, especially for, for a guy like Force Whitaker. But he's my weak link in terms of the cast. Mance Mikkelsen I wish was in the film more. And there's several uh, things I would like to talk about, but it's super spoilerly. So I'm gonna move on to the special effects. The special effects of the Magnificence. The Star Destroyers look like models, and I accidentally said toys in the conversation about it, because I was meaning to say they look like models. I never meant to say toys. Whoops! Totally screwed that up. This film also has Michael Giannettino to do the score, but the score is not as good as the previous one, and as as usual Star Wars scores go. And the race thing from the Force Awakens tramples everything from the Rogue One, especially because Michael Giannettino had a few weeks to do the score, which is unfortunate. And the ending is, the ending, the ending, it ties up really well with A New Hope. And it's already been said, but I'll definitely say here, it's, it's magnificent, and it ties up with a nice little bow. And the reshoots are not, not really noticeable, and I'm glad they went with the ending we got, because the original ending would have made me like, huh, I wonder where, I wonder what happened to them in the original ending. I will not spoil it, but you kind of got a hint of what I'm talking about. Just as a little, yeah. Cons, uh, like I said, Forrest Whitaker's performance would have been a lot better. The first two acts, I uh, admit, it wasn't the best, but it never bothered me. Other than that, I really love this film. It's very great. It shows uh, filmmaking, and it shows real confidence from Disney that they can go dark, and it's just as good as Empire Strikes Back. And I will give this film four and a half out of five. It's definitely a must see. You have to see it as soon as you can. At, uh, maybe after this review, go see it and then comment below on your score. And that's pretty much it. As I said in, in a previous video, there's been a glitch on YouTube which is causing smaller channels like me to not grow properly. So I'm gonna say here. Give it a thumbs up if you like to support the channel and hit the subscribe button just to help with my channel's growth. But also subscribe to the Forest Podcast. It should be up by the time uh, this video is up. So subscribe to the Forest Podcast because our first podcast should be released at Christmas. So and our topic is conveniently 
when I'm talking about Star Wars. And I revealed them. And reviewed every entry in the film franchise, so I kind of uh, been a loyalist by reviewing every film. And also, like I said at the beginning of the video, there's a written review on Letterbox down below, so you can see what my initial thoughts on the film were when the film was released. Have a fantastic day, everyone, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, bye.